Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watts Solds which would be last weekend, March 24th through the 26th, Friday through Sunday. I'm running a little bit behind with my videos but we're trying to get caught up. I've been busy, busy. I've got a special project I'm working on which is going to be a video to be released later. So I've been kind of focusing on that right now. So, but it's, it's going to be fun. And it's it's a, a video I'm doing with some other YouTubers. So that's kind of where I've been focused on for the last couple of days. But, y'all, I got a couple of things to share with you. First, look at my wall. I posted a picture in my YouTube group. Robert did put in the shelf for me so I could do... I wanted to really put that circus out there. Um... But you guys can't see it. But on the top is all of my um, little people buildings, my vintage stuff. Just kind of love my wall right now. Took a few things down and I'm going to list them. But fun, fun, fun. But I also got a letter from a viewer. Her name is Patricia. And I t a letter. Who sends letters anymore? That's just so fun. But she sent me this article about a new stuffed animal that's coming out. And I hadn't heard about it, but have you guys seen these? Right here. They're called Huggy Wuggy. And I looked them up. They're on eBay already, but I hadn't heard of them. And that's just, it was in the New York Times, and she took the time to go ahead and mail these to me so I could read the article. So thank you so much, Patricia. That was just very nice of you. So, but yeah, y'all slow sales have been kind of weird. You know, I'm having my ebbs and flows, but I mean, when my, when I'm down, I'm really down. And then I've had some really good days, but you're going to see in this what sold, it's just kind of weird out there right now. I, it's the other platforms, my other, not eBay, are almost non-existent. In sales and I, so you know you can't blame that on eBay but hardly any sales I don't sell a lot on them but this is weird very weird so let me go ahead and get everything set up for you guys and let's get through I'm telling you there's not a whole lot this time and this is what I mean one Poshmark sale that weekend none on the other platforms none now, this week, I've had quite a few on Mercari, and still hardly any on Poshmark. It's just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong there, but it is what it is, right? So, my one and only sell, non-eBay, was a pair of men's Lee jeans for $16. Alright, and then here's some of the sales I had on eBay. These are called Crib Mates. I've done very well with these little plush that are kind of lovey, kind of teether. Both of these were the same brand, so I just decided to put them together. They're not big dollar sales, but they sell pretty frequently for me when I find them. Um, this two sold, these two sold for ten dollars. Another lovey. This is Dimdaco, um, cute cow, rattle type lovey. Seventeen dollars and five cents. Hollister women's pants. These were unique. Definitely kind of had vintage vibes to me. Not really sure. They were a very small size. Extra small. Sold for $17.71. Viewer sale. So thank you very much, Sherry. Sherry picked up these Tender Tales Precious Moments plush lot. I just decided to put the four of them together. I love the Precious Moments plush. These sold for $22.45, so thanks again, Sherry. And then this Wooden Rooster. Now, this has been listed a while. I don't even remember where I picked it up from. Um, just a Wooden Rooster Chicken Pool Toy, $11.66. And then I just showed this recently. I had um, the Milk Jug and then these four cookies. I've decided to split it up. I don't think the milk jug was working properly. 
I may not have even showed you guys that one. Um, but these four cookies, that there was a fifth cookie in the lot, but it was different size to a different set, so I kept it separate. But these four vintage cookies to the milk jug sold for $10.84. We picked this up recently at an estate sale. I want to say we paid 50 cents or a dollar for it. Um, Robert grabbed it. It's Asahi Draft Beer Coffee Cup Mug. Um, sold for $22.45. And then this was another viewer sale. So thank you so much, Mary. Mary bought two of the card sets that I think Robert picked these up at an estate sale. I, I have a whole bag of just playing cards. Some of them were um, airlines. So I decided to just kind of split them up based on what they were about. Um, Mary did pick up these two sets for $19. So thank you again, Mary. I think I picked these up maybe for um, one of Courtney's Ben's Bingo or one of the other Ben's challenge that she did. I think. I can't remember. But these were Wilson Youth Baseball Glove. Sold very, very quickly for $28. Jelly Cat. Um, this was a Ben's pickup. Um, I showed recently in a haul, we found a lot of jelly cats. No, I'll take that back. Not we. Robert found a whole bunch of jelly cats when we did this last trip to St. Louis. Um, and this was one of them. It was just a blue 8-inch elephant. It sold same day I listed it for $10.95. Those vintage handkerchiefs, I thought I had listed them all, but I've been trying to go through my profit piles. I have a basket that was right here underneath my desk. It was covered with a lot of plastic bags and um, packing materials. And when I went looking through there, I um, realized I haven't listed all of the handkerchiefs. I still have some more under there. But this was a lot of four that I listed. I bought this at a yard sale. It was somebody who was going out of eBay business. She had them in lots I don't remember how much I paid for all of it. I want to say maybe $20 for the whole bunch of them. Um, and I've just been putting them in small lots of four, unless they were very specialized. Um, but I've sold several of them. This set of four sold for $13.45. And now I need to get the rest of them listed. This is a vintage Walmart pink elephant plush. It was five inches tall. It sold for $23. Walmart again. This is more contemporary. This is a 10 inch Dalmatian dog. It sold for $8.96. And I still have another one. I try to keep up when I'm listing as much plush as I do to go into my store when something seems like I might have it already listed and then just up my quantity. Just kind of keeps listing very easy um, if all you have to do is up the quantity, as long as the condition and everything is still the same. Kelly Toy Rottweiler Dog. I love listing dogs that are specific breeds. Um, this was a 10 inch plush. I don't know why I stalled, Robert. It sold for $10. This is another Walmart plush. I think it was vintage because on the paper tag it said um, that it originally sold for like $4.98. I think this was from that large lot that Robert and I, um, we stumbled onto a yard sale and she ended up selling me all the totes of plush for I don't remember how much. Robert might be able to just remember and he'll throw a price up there. I want to say... 20 bucks or 30 bucks or something, but it was a ton of plush. Um, and a lot of them still had their original tags on them. Um, I went ahead and accepted an offer of $12 on this plush. Mattel Backyardigans. This is the Singing Surfer Pablo. I do really well with the plush that's Backyardigans. Also like Rubba Dubbers, um, Blues Clues, some of the vintage ones, Wow Wow Wubsy those type plush. I do really well with them. This sold pretty quickly. It hadn't been listed very long for $8.96. This is Russ Nikki White Cat Plush. 
It's funny, that's number three. I had like three of them all at once. They are vintage, um, but they sell for me. They don't stick around very long. This one sold for $10.84. Dalmatian Dog Plush Hand Puppet. The brand was Plush Creations. It was still attached to the cardboard manufacturer's thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, it sold. I took a best offer of $11.50. Carhartt Men's Jeans sold for $17.71. These are Riders by Lee Women's Jeans. Sold for $13 best offer. This I picked up at an estate sale recently. I want to say I paid maybe $3. It sat around for a little while because I kept trying to figure out how I was going to pack it. You know, when you have stuff that's odd shaped, um, you know, you, you kind of need to have in mind how you're going to pack it before you list it. I knew it wasn't going to be heavy enough to go priority because it would have fit in one of the, you know, 1095, 1092, whichever one of those boxes they are. But, you know, when it's light and then you need something that's long but not very thick. Um, but I finally figured out what box listed it and it sold very quickly for $15. Disney Lion King Guard Plush Lot. These are, most of them were from Just Play. They did have some playwear, which I did list. I do take pictures of any issues that I notice. These sold for $22.45. I think I'm gonna stop at this point for a quick commercial. This is my weekly commercial. I try not to bog you guys down with self-promotion, I guess you call it. But, you know, I just wanted to thank all of those people who support my channel by doing the like and subscribe. Also, I have in the banner of my videos, we do have lots of affiliate links. Um, Robert's just recently added one that's called Mavely, and it is a link to Walmart. Um, we do have the tape that we like to use um, there. But anytime you go in through that affiliate link and do any shopping, we do get a small commission. So if Walmart is a place that you shop regularly, please consider doing that for us. Um, I also have links to Wholesale and Worth Point, List Perfectly, which I absolutely love and use to do all my cross listing to the other platforms. American Bubble Boy, which I think is the best bubble wrap out there. And I love the convenience of doing a subscription, which, you know, every month they go ahead and send you a set amount of whichever bubble wrap you want. Um, so it just, it's convenient. I do have the eBay icon down there. You don't even have to shop in my store if you do any shopping. Then um, if you go through that link, again, I get a small commission. So I just wanted to thank everybody. I also wanted to specifically thank um, the three people who sent me buy me a coffees. Um, so thank you very much, Christy. Christy's a teacher who was watching my videos during her spring break and just wanted to thank me. Nahida um, sent me a buy me a coffee. Um, she had sent me some personal emails needing some help and I had responded to them. So thank you very much. And then the other one, there wasn't a name, but I wanted to thank you anyway. Um, and because the cutest message was thank you for saving the vintage plush, which you guys know that's, that's me. I love the vintage plush and that's my main goal when I go outsourcing is to find all the vintage stuff and get it to people who are just going to cherish it. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, Earth Shoes. Um, I like that brand to pick up. We pay, you know, pick them up for a dollar or two and, you know, sell for $18 up, and, you know, $20, $25. It's just a very good bread and butter shoe brand for us. This is Disney 101 Dalmatians. This was Penny, sold for $8.96. I've been selling a lot of bread and butter, um, you know, and that's, you know, all of it adds up in the end, you know, at the end of the month, you know, it is what is helping pay my bills. So, you know, 
don't be afraid to list some of the small dollar stuff, especially if you go in and you check the sell-through rate and it's going to sell quickly. If you can pick up a penny plush for a quarter or 50 cents and turn it right around for $8.96, why not? Dandy Peanuts Snoopy Plush. Um, today I have been listing the heck, well, can't even say listing, processing the heck out of some toys that I picked up the bins that were all electronic and so far all of them have had Karoti batteries. I have got to do better about that but this one worked perfectly fine. Did include a video of it working sold for $26.95. Care Bears Polite Panda Plush. Pretty sure this was um, in the one of my recent hauls from the St. Louis bins. I picked up several um, Care Bears that I had never seen before. Yeah, I think I sold it in the same day that I listed it for $29.95. But this one was called Polite and it's from 2005. Getting into my, my big dollar sales. You know, I had a lot of bread and butter, but I did have a few um, nice ones. Now, I think I paid $10 for this at a yard sale. She had had it priced a little bit higher. Um, but I ended up paying $10 for it. It was a Bratz Yasmin doll, but inside of the box is a perfume that had expired in April of 2010. So I made sure to put that in there. I don't think it was a major part of this set, but I did want to put in there that, you know, it did have the perfume. So you do have to ship this ground. You cannot ship this priority. Um, but it sold for $71.56. And then these next two are actually the same buyer. She came in and she bought three from me. And then later that day, she went ahead and bought, I want to say 13 more items. But y'all look at this. Look at the prices on this. This first three items sold for $151. It was a Walmart Yellow Chick Plush, $60. Then a Vintage Kenner Care Bears Cousin for $11. And then this Walmart Multicolored Bear with the primary colors sold for $80. $80. And then these are the 13 other. Um, just rabbits a lot of it chicks you know this urban chick baby boutique i couldn't find anything like it um she made very reasonable offers which thrilled me um walgreens purple rabbit i tell you all the time i do really well with walgreen plush this one sold for 19 dollars i want to scroll down here there was a lot of you know six seven eight dollar plush Here's a TV Trading Company rabbit that sold for $25. Another Walmart rabbit with a straw hat sold for $20. So, you know, just a nice variety, but love when I have people come in and make, you know, reasonable offers on my items and buy lots, lots and lots and lots. So that made my weekend because otherwise it, it would have been a little bit less than average for me. How about that? All right. You know, a lot of times I have a lot more items to, that I've sold that I mean, there's, this isn't everything except it was everything on the other platform. So rough, 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 but all right, it's time to get back to working on my little special project that I'm working on right now. All right. Bye.